that they will search the premises in Chennai again. But in a comedy of errors, they came to search the premises in Chorbag, and the officers told me they believed that Mr. Karthi Chudambaram was occupant of this house. I told them that he is not the occupant of the house. He is a resident of Chennai and I am the occupant of the house. Since I had a search warrant, I said I have no objection. You can search, but I will record my protest that there is no scheduled offence. Consequently, there are no proceeds of crime and the ED has no jurisdiction to investigate under PMLA. So I recorded that in the search warrant. You can ask them. They will show the endorsement made by me. They have searched the place. Obviously, they found nothing. Uh, they searched the bedroom, the kitchen, uh, the living room. They found nothing. And uh, since they had to justify why they came here, they took away papers relating to a statement made by the government and parliament in, 2000, in 2012 or 2013. In 2012 or 2013, we made a statement in parliament on the case and the background papers relating to that case, 39 loose sheets of paper in one plastic folder, they've taken it away and it's recorded there and I've recorded. These are statements relating to a statement made in paper by parliament and the background papers which are photocopies of official uh, uh, documents. That is the only thing they have taken away. They have not found anything. In Chennai also, they have recorded the Nil Magaza. They found nothing. They have seized nothing. They have take, not taken away. In fact, the Chennai premises has been raided three times so far. The CBI has searched it. The ED has searched it. In the same case? Same. I don't know which case. But they have searched it and they find nothing. And they assume that after they search the place once, something will be found the next time. I can only... Uh, compliment them on their. But the fact that you just a moment, I'm not answering any questions. They, I can I can only compliment them. Anyway, uh, no, no, wait a minute. You you can draw your comment. Just take my statement. So all I'm saying is, I'm um, uh, in fact the officers were very polite, uh, and I may add they were quite embarrassed, and they were apologetic that they found me as the occupant, but they had no op option but to complete the search. They completed it at about 11 o'clock and they have left. The case will come up on January 30. The fact, the, the fact that... So uh, that was uh, P. Chidambaram and he made it clear that the officials of ED uh, did not find much, though he does say that uh, there were certain papers that uh, they took away, but these papers were related to the case, but that was a statement that uh, they had put out in the parliament in 2013. Now, uh, we are joined by uh, our colleague Sam Daniel for more on this. Uh, Sam, uh, P. Chidambaram here clearly stated that this particular uh, house that was searched was not occupied by Karthi Chidambaram. It was his house and still it was searched and such uh, searches have been done before as well. That's why there have been similar searches earlier as well and in December for instance there were raised that uh, a few relative houses and people moved to Karthi and uh, denying these allegations uh, Chidambaram in the past as well he has said that only because uh, Karthi, I mean, Karthi is being harassed uh, because of his political stance uh, and now in the opposition. And uh, the case is all about uh, money laundering allegations that when Mr. Chidambaram was the minister, he had approved 3,500 approval for the, uh, as part of the SIPB approval for investment promotion for approval. Although he as a minister could, have, could, could approve only up to 600 crore, he had uh, granted uh, approval for this. Around 3,500 crore, and uh, this money laundering case was registered. And uh, he and his son both have denied these allegations. And at the moment, both of them are out of frustration. They're not in Chennai. And uh, the enforcement directorate officials in Chennai say uh, a team has come from Delhi and they will be able to give any more information on uh, what exactly was found or taken from the raids. But the number of men, Kathy, uh, denied these allegations. 